In this problem, we have lots of stuff going on. We're raising a fraction that's got exponents on both the top and the bottom to another power. So there's a lot of stuff to deal with here. When I see a problem like this, I usually like to go right to the center of it, uh, get as inside as I can, and simplify as much as possible. So before we worry about this fourth power up here, I want to see if there's anything I can simplify uh, with this fraction. What I notice is we have three on top and six on the bottom. So I'm going to ignore the letter part for right now and just focus on these numbers. I can cancel here. So three uh, dividing by three would leave one on top. So when I multiply one by the rest of the stuff, it's like it disappears. The six divided by three would just leave me with a two. So for the fraction part now, I've just got m to the fourth, n to the seventh, all over two n to the fifth. Now. I want to look for things in common on the top and the bottom, and I see n to the seventh over n to the fifth. So I need to do that division. And n to the seventh minus, well, sorry, n to the seventh divided by n to the fifth is seven minus five. So this is going to be, that's going to go away, and this is going to become n squared. If that step is confusing, think about n multiplied by itself seven times on the top and on the bottom, n multiplied by itself five times, that much is going to cancel, just leaving two n's on top. So n squared on top, and it disappears from the bottom. So I can rewrite this fraction now as m to the fourth n squared over 2, and this is all raised to the fourth power. There's nothing else I can do inside here. There are no m's on the bottom to divide. I, so I think I've got this as simple as it can be made. Now I need to raise this all to the fourth power. The way I do that is I apply the fourth power to one piece at a time. So let's start with m to the fourth. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply those powers. So this is m to the four times four power, or m to the sixteenth power. I'll do the same thing to my n part now. n squared to the fourth power is n to the two times four power, or n to the eighth power. And then I have to apply this fourth power to the bottom here. What's 2 to the fourth? Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that's going to be 16. So my final answer here is m to the 16th and to the 8th over 16. So that is a little bit of work with um, quotient and power rules uh, with exponents.